What is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty here, and today I'm bringing you guys a multi versus tier list video based off the second closed out. So, uh, I haven't uploaded a video on it yet, but today I wanted to start just with a tier list. Then I'm gonna be uploading all the content that I have on the game because I have a lot of content. So, make sure y'all sub, click that notification bell so y'all can know when I drop those videos. I'll probably be dropping them all week. Uh, and some Gotham Knights nice content this week too. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And no further ado, let's just get right into this tier list because I, I got some stuff to say. All right, so we're back. Uh, and I got the tier list on the screen. I'm in Photoshop, so it's not like one of them tier list uh, maker things. I got my own photos and stuff like that, etc. So we're going to start, uh, I have a list on the right, y'all probably can't see it, but we're going to start from left to right uh, on, you know, here, so, just so y'all know. So first off, we're starting with Shaggy, all right? Now, I think Shaggy is a great middle ground character for this game, uh, a great one. Uh, he's what a character should be in this game uh, in, in terms of balance, right? So. You know, he's not he's not too crazy. He has a lot of spammy things that you've seen a lot of people spamming, like the, the sidekick, uh, which you can't shot down, but it does have a lot of priorities over a lot of moves that uh, you see. Uh, but you know, overall, Shaggy has a great kit. He does a lot of damage. If you if you do like a neutral punch with him with like the, the little ultra instinct meme thing, he literally does like 44 damage, bro. And that's a dang near half like a life. Uh, in this game, because you can kill someone at 80 with him, all right, he's one of those characters that kill at 80, uh, 70-ish, so for that, I'm gonna put Shaggy in the A tier, I feel like Shaggy's good, he has great kill power, he does a lot of damage, all that stuff, etc., a great kid, all right, next up, we have Wonder Woman, now, Wonder Woman is kind of similar to Shaggy, she was also a recommended character, uh, because I feel like she's also a good middle ground, but less than him, all right, uh, Wonder Woman has a lot of things that help her deal with zoners, but at the same time, she doesn't have the, the crazy kill power. Uh, she doesn't have, like, crazy buttons like Shaggy would or Shaggy does. And, you know, overall, she's just, you know, a tank at the end of the day. She has a great, uh, like, her down uh, special is great, but, you know, a lot of things like her shield, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of pointless when you have, um, when you... When you have to like stay on the ground with it, it's not like you can hold it up like other characters. So I'm gonna just put her in B because I, I feel like B is more of like the middle ground. Uh, but you know, Shaggy just oh, like kind of excels a little bit higher uh, than the middle ground. So I had to put him in A. Next up, we have Rain Dog, right? Um, Rain Dog, <laughs> I'm putting Rain Dog in A tier. Now, some people might be like, What are you doing? I don't care. I'm playing Rain Dog in the A tier, and here's why. All right, this game, uh, you can tell, is mainly a 2v2 game. That's, like, the main game mode of this. Uh, so the supports uh, might excel a little bit better than some. But I have to put Rain Dog in A tier due to this. Rain Dog stacks damage, right? The fire pillars that Rain Dog can do are crazy. The recovery for teammates is crazy. Like, the fact that you can turn into a ball and your teammates can throw you is crazy. The armor breaks are crazy. Rain Dog has everything but kill power. Everything but kill power. And that's why I got to put Rain Dog in A because, listen, all right, I played Rain Dog a few times. I didn't play Rain Dog a lot. I got Rain Dog to about like level five or six, right? Uh, and Rain Dog is the only character I've gotten 600 damage with. All right, I played dang near everyone. Rain Dog is the only character I got 632 damage with. So I got to put Rain Dog here because if you pair Rain Dog with a character that just kills things, it's over. Rain Dog is unstoppable at that point. So I have to put Rain Dog at A. Uh, let's move on. So we got our next dog. We got Jake. Now, uh, a lot of you guys might be like, wow, you know, I can't believe where you're going to put him. Psych, you know I'm putting him in S tier, bro. Jake's damn near the best character in the game. Jake has all these buttons that are hard to hit. His hitbox is freaking crazy. Um, I would say he has a need to change, but at the same time, I don't want to be that guy to say nerf yet because uh, I I rather them buff characters than nerf characters. So Jake, his hitbox is just stupid. He has a lot of crazy moves. He can skateboard on your head. That's kind of messed up. Just just like 
It's just crazy BM right there. But uh, he can angle he can angle his KO, crazy kill power, crazy damage, a lot of just armor and stuff. He should not be a bruiser. He should be a tank. That's all I got to say about him. Jake is one of the perfect characters in this game. And there, there are quite a few. There are quite a few perfect characters in this game. And I got to say, Jake is probably the best. Maybe second. is debatable. All right, next up, we got Steven. Steven Universe, right? So, um, Steven has a lot of things. Steven has a heal. He has a uh, third character you can bring in that will get KOs. Because Watermelon Steven will get KOs, right? Has a shield that can protect the teammate. And he has uh, shields that go side B and up B, right? That can, the up B can also be used for special, uh, not special platforms. So that's crazy if you want to combo some stuff with your teammate. Uh, also, there's like this little crystal gem thing you can do uh, where you can put on your teammate or Watermelon Steven that... Um, that you can explode people with and you can bubble uh enemies now this all sounds good but bubbling enemies sounds like a lot more work than what uh uh than what you think it is yeah uh and for that reason i think i'm gonna have to put steven in b tier all right i don't think steven is as good as um rain dog at all uh steven's a great character it brings uh he brings a lot of things to the field but even at that, with the third person, Watermelon Steven doesn't do a crazy amount. Watermelon Steven just get ragdolled. It does only charge moves. Uh, It's just, you know, it, it's fair. It's fair, but it's just not anything too crazy. So that's why I'm going to put him in B tier because I just don't think he's Rain Dog. Next up, we have Superman. I'm going to have to put Superman in D tier because Superman is easily the worst character in the game. All right? It's not even debatable. Uh, it's like I'm playing with y'all. Superman is probably the best as well with jake i think it's like a jake superman tie for who's the best and superman might outshine him more just because superman can getting in the air superman also has a dumb hitbox on certain moves a lot of armor moves and he can pick you up in the sky and just throw you out it's over bro his he he has crazy off map potential crazy kill power crazy damage build up crazy combos i've seen people do some crazy combos with him superman uh, is also one of those contenders that arguably is the best character in the game. There's nothing else I can say. All right. Now, next up, Garnet. I'm going to put Garnet in B tier. Uh, just because I feel like Garnet is good, but Garnet is only good on the ground. All right. Uh, and mm, it, I don't know. It's not like she does anything too crazy. I would say she's better than Wonder Woman uh, for sure, but I'm not going to order this right now. Uh, but I will say she's better than Wonder Woman just because, you know, Wonder Woman isn't anything too crazy, like I said, but she doesn't deserve the A spot like a lot of these characters do. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we could say that she'd be a low A tier character, but at the same time, it's just like, like I said, she's mainly a ground character and for real, for real, a lot of her moves are just like, whatever, like that little teleport thing, like Arya Starks does, does stuff better, like you know, a lot of other characters just do what she can do better than what she can do. So that's why I'm gonna put uh Garnet in B tier. Uh feel free to comment if you disagree with me, by the way, because why not? Uh Batman. I have to say Batman is also the best character in the game. Okay, but no, uh Batman has to go, bruh. Batman has to go in the C tier. I'm not gonna say he's D tier. And a lot of people might be thinking I'm drunk or something, but I gotta say, Batman underperformed. He does no damage. He has no kill power until about 120 to like 150, uh, really, besides like his spike potential. But even at that, you have to have them at about like 80 or 90. And, you know, like I say, he doesn't do damage. Like uh, Harley Quinn has a similar move to him that just does better. Like th this character is better than Batman. Batman is easily the worst character, in my opinion. Uh, he takes a lot of work and a lot of time, and he's my most played as well. Uh, and I'm not even trying to downplay him. It's just the fact that he underperforms uh, from everybody else, and he just felt like the weakest character to me. I played everybody on the list. It's not like I'm just saying this, just to say it. I played everybody on the list fair enough, fairly enough to, you know, see that Batman underperforms. And I had to put a lot of work in the Batman to just make him good. So, yeah. Uh, especially with the 2v2 being the main thing, like, yeah, the 1v1s, Batman is cool, 
uh, because he can do more combos and stuff. But when you're in a 2v2, like, you know, thing, you're not going to be doing these combos that people are posting on YouTube and stuff. Like, you're not going to be doing those because the, the enemy team is going to help their teammate and not just do ones, like, but two people. No, not it's not going to go down like that. You're going to, you're not going to get your combos off like that. So I have to say that Batman is C tier, uh, sadly. Next up, we have Harley Quinn, Miss Harley Quinn. Now, Harley Quinn is an assassin, uh, which Batman should be an assassin. I forgot to say that, but he's an assassin or he's a bruiser. But Harley Quinn is an assassin that should be a bruiser. All right. It's completely opposite. They have similar uh, kits, but hers is just better. She has traps. Uh, she has, you know, a bond that she can stick on to enemies. Uh, she has a little dash uh, with a boxing glove. And when you get one of her perks, when you can angle her uh, spiked boxing glove, it's kind of ridiculous because her edge guarding just becomes crazy. Like, you can shoot that shit through the stage and, like, get kills, like, without even putting yourself at any real risk. So, Harley Quinn is just a crazy character in general. Her neutral bomb can actually get kills, unlike Batman. She has good kill power. Her hammer is ridiculous. Uh, and I, if I recall, she has a armor move. Um... But yeah, Harley Quinn has to go into A tier. There's no no other thing I can say about that. Uh Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, great zoner. I have to put him in A tier as well. Bugs is just he he can put so much stuff on the screen and it, he just mad fun to play and it's not like he has weak kill power. He has good kill power too. Uh his up uh smash or whatever you want to call it up uh neutral uh, or not up neutral, but up uh attack with the bat is good. His spike is crazy. Uh, his rocket is good. Uh, the only thing that doesn't put the only thing that makes him not S tier is the fact that his cooldown like is a thing, right? Like the rocket cooldown. But he has a lot of things. He has like the pause. He has like items he could bring on the screen to bring assists, like Mr. Me seeks a lot of stuff. Uh, you know he has you know, good setup potential with the, with the safe that he can drop, the, the little rabbit hole that he can dig, he can put items in there, he can put his rocket and his safe in there and just set some stuff up, he has so many things that make him good, and that's why Bugs has to go into A, Arya Stark, now, I gotta say this, Arya Stark can arguably, arguably be, oh my god, I can't speak, she can, you can argue that she can be an S tier, all right, but we're not going to do that because Arya has a skill gap, and at the same time, she's very lightweight. She's probably the lightest character in the game. Uh, she dies really early. It, it, that's just it. She dies really early, so that's I feel like that's our only flaw. But ever other than that, you just if you know her combos and know how to get people in like the fucked up situations, then she is your she's a tier like in general, just off of that. Uh, next up is Tom and Jerry. Now, I feel like Tom and Jerry is a good mage, good zoner, but Tom and Jerry isn't Bugs Bunny. Uh, they are cool just because you can, like, do the whole, like, their whole little gimmick of fighting each other instead of, like, the people on the screen. Uh, they, you know, they fight each other and then other people get hit with the collateral damage of their fighting. But Tom and Jerry is a just harder version of uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, you have to do a lot of setup. The tennis ball isn't as good. It's good for, like, off-screen stuff if you get people off-screen. But other than that, like, the normals or whatever, uh, you know, it just takes a lot of work with Tom and Jerry. The the fishing hook is whatever as well. It's not that great. You kind of have to angle it to hit people. So, I don't know. I feel like Tom and Jerry, like, Tom and Jerry could go in A tier. But I'm going to say, like, Tom and Jerry is, like, near, like, a high B tier. Uh, just because he's not Bugs Bunny, he he's not as good as I'm gonna say he's good as the other characters on A tier. Now Finn, Finn the Human, Finn goes in the C tier as well. Uh, now you guys might be wondering why I put him in C tiers because I'm messing with you because Finn actually goes. Oh, I messed up. Finn actually goes into S tier. Now Finn is not Superman nor Jake, okay, but Finn is better than everyone in A tier right now. All right, easy. Better than everyone in A tier right now. All right, Finn is crazy. Finn has crazy uh, edge guarding, uh, just with his down uh, attack. With the with that being a guard break, 
Finn can also charge that up and move with that. And a lot of his other moves, he has a projectile shield that he can put on that's way better than Wonder Woman. Uh, just regular projectile blocking and stuff. Uh, he has a speed boost he can apply, and he also has a BMO counter that has priority over most things. I don't think I've ever seen anything beat that. So Finn just has a lot, and he has the backpack. The backpack does crazy damage, all right? And all you have to do is get a little bit of coins. His off-screen is great. He doesn't even have to get off or off a uh, map. Like, he can just stay on the map and edge guard you with a bunch of things. He has a lot, and Finn is just good, all right? Uh, you want to go up, Finn will up backpack you. If you want to go down and try to stick on the wall and you're on that wall, Finn will spike you with the down uh, armor break. So you're going to get hit. Finn is great. Adventure time, crazy. But he's not number one because Jake and Superman tie for that. So he's third place <laughs> because there's no second place if there's a tie for first. Velma. Velma is my least played character just because I didn't like how she played. Uh, but Velma should not be no support. I gotta say that Velma is really good, but Velma is not the best character. She's not in the top four at all. Uh, so Velma, I have to put her in A. Uh, just because she calls the cops on you, like she's just definitely a Karen. All right. Uh, building up her clues could be hard, but I've been seeing a lot. Of, like when I played a lot of people, uh, it, it seemed like they had an easier time doing it than I could. It was hard for me to, you know, even get the clues to call the cops, but I seen people do it in like 10, 20 seconds, which is ridiculous because it was taking me all game with like out dying to even get that shit. So, uh, she has a crazy off screen game just with that one beam, like magnifying thing, bro. Like, if she gets you off screen and you're like, you're dead, bro, she can hit you with that. Like, if you don't dodge that, you're done. So I, I feel like Velma has a lot. Uh, she's very spammy. She can also put a lot of things on the screen, like bugs. Uh, better than Tom and Jerry, of course. So that's why I'm going to put her in A tier. Now, last but not least, my boy, the po my pocket character. All right, because y'all know I made Batman, Batman, but I got pocket Taz. And I said this before this came out. I said this before this album came out. I, I never played the first one. I only played the second one. But I got pocket Taz, all right? Uh, I got to put him in S tier. And the only reason why I put him in S tier is because how the community has been reacting to him. Uh, I don't think he's S tier. I think he has high kill power and that's it, right? Uh, his whole little chicken buff thing, that shit sucks. It's it's hard to even build up just because if any t of the enemy team hits you, that shit will like go away for both of those team members. Uh, I think it's kind of glitched. Which I think they need to change where like he can do a salt move or whatever, and then like he can do like his spin or his like up like special or whatever, like and then still like apply it on you. I, I don't know if that's how that's supposed to work a hundred percent, but I feel like that shouldn't work like that. Uh cause that might be a little bit too much, but there's like a time that you have to wait after you turn somebody into a chicken. Uh in the healing from it, it's just like one percent. So that's not really that bad. But other than that. I feel like the only thing he has really good is the spin. And even at that, you can hit him out the spin with a uh, regular side uh, attack, like side attack button combo with everyone. It's not even like it's just one character. You get him with everyone out of that. So I'm going to put him at S just because the community's been, how the community's been acting towards that character. Uh, but I, I truly believe he should be an A tier. But it's not like, He's not good. Like, he's really good. Like, he would be the best at an A tier if I put him in there anyway. So, might as well just bump him up to S at that. And that is my tier list. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think, I, I don't know. I think there's a pretty good list. The only, I don't think any character really needs any changes besides Batman. I think he should have, like, a 10% higher, like, kill power chance or whatever. Whatever that they do with that. Other than that, I think every character is good. Besides Batman, I think he's just easily underperforming, uh, and that's really it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a multiverse uh, video. I'll be uploading multiverses a lot this week, and maybe next week if I still got some more footage. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's have a debate. Let's argue about it. Join my Discord if you really want to argue about it. I'll be ready. I'm there. I'm ready for all the smoke. All right? I'm ready to even make a part two to this video and talk to you about it on the video. So let me know. Let me know if you really about that. But no further ado, it's been your boy Times, and I'm out.
subscribe, 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 like, comment, and subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe, 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 subscribe.